to betray my customers. I charge extra. Broken. Uh 
be empty. Is that how even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Eric? Hey, Brat! How did you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um, there's always a way. Don't let him fool you. Everyone in the underworld knows that this brat is a no good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Two hundred. What? Two uh, hundred shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Me neither. I never bring my coin purse with me on a mission. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy... Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's 
carrot, right? Here, you can have this. What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. Be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are, you guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right! Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. <laughs> really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. the end of the story in your own way. Keep at it! Oh, my God. 
customers. I charge extra. Oh, let's see. 
changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff pop. Hey, where are you going? Let's look. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. Empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted... <laughs> care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is... Time to get vigilant! Huh? <laughs> you! Commencing research! Naughty child.
<laughs> Time for a shot. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! Ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! <laughs> yeah. Commencing research! <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Who will it be? Tough luck running into me! on by myself but still fighting alongside you two was pretty fun <sighs> should be all clear now let's poke around the kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here if I remember it right there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there I just hope the monster didn't get to them it wasn't my imagination Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on. The overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait. Unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. We've 
I've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's great! It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supply- You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's ex- mm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... When you were a... No. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me. You're... An undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. The architect said that the guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the overworld and the underworld will be tested. In the end, I... I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. What? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You've been hiding your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Zila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me... <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? the successor to the guardian of Bellabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Lady Branya. <laughs> this future supreme guardian comes from... How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you. Let those two people alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Danger. 
detected. Protect Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. She... she's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. for these painkillers too. There are a lot of people hurt at the vagrant camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Mr. Svarog, he... he's my family. I met Mr. Svarog when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Svarog doesn't trust any humans besides me, especially everyone from Wildfire. Mr. Svarog doesn't want to hurt people, but... He always follows the calculations of his analysis. He Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Sparrow wants everyone to stay here. According yes! At least according to Mr. Sparrow's calculation, he says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarok, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarok won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarok. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Dila from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. Also, not all of them are bad people. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then... Can you give me some? I see. But really? We don't need- If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for here first. Understood. Beacon. Plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take. Thank you. 
You can't get anything done if you get scared so easily.